I noticed and up in Queensland they've, they've decriminalised prostitution and I think that she's also thinking of decriminalising most recreational drugs. Are you across all that? Oh, look, the, the, the states look after all of that, mm. but clearly criminalising prostitution doesn't really work. It no. just drives it <laughs> underground and leads to uh, you know worse behaviour yes. and, and worse treatment of people who are involved in uh, what can be, of course, a dangerous industry. Let's, let's, let's not muck around with the cloak and dagger. What's the go with aliens? Of all the questions I thought I would be asked <laughs> on radio, uh, what's the go with aliens? You must have wondered. Right at the top of the you must agenda. have wondered. Are they real? Oh, I know as much as you do, mate. Right, I, I, I can assure you of this. There are not secret briefings given to the Prime Minister of Australia about aliens being in our midst. When will you propose to Jody, Prime Minister? Is that on the on the agenda? I, I, I don't think that's a matter for uh, Kiss FM to determine. Oh, <laughs> but we all want, you know, like, is she your twin flame? Uh, she is certainly uh, a, a very uh, dear partner. I regard myself as being incredibly lucky. I've got to say, we have we have a great relationship. Has she brought up tape? How about putting a ring on it? Like, come on, man. Nah. Never. No. <laughs> Joe, finally oh, an interesting no, interview an with the Albert, no, no, but finally an interesting interview with a politician. But can you imagine if we mm. asked the PM whether there were aliens or if he was going to propose or if prostitution should be legal, oh, the world would think we'd we gone nuts. We should be. Why haven't you asked it, Sherry? I thought you were an investigative journalist. You found out where the Wuhan flu came from and you can't even find out if there are aliens walking amongst us, which I can tell you there are. Most of them are in the Greens party room. There might be some others in uh, secret installations <laughs> underground. But, um, but, yeah, no, I thought that was good. And I thought, you know, it goes to show. Albo, he's a funny guy. He, he is funny. Andrew, he should get married, though. <laughs> Andrew Carswell, Williams, as yeah. former Prime Minister Scott, Morin, Scott Morrison's press secretary, are FM interviews the hardest for you to prepare for because you just don't know what to brief your boss on. You don't know where they're going. And, and I remember, I think, when Scott Morrison went on with Carl and Jackie O, they asked him about a very embarrassing incident at, at the Engadine McDonald's. Yeah, they, well, in a way, they're, they're, they're quite easy to prepare for because you're not going to be caught out in some kind of policy um, saga. Um, you just have to laugh your way through what are some pretty awkward moments, and, and that's, what, that, that's what makes them great. Um, I mean, I, I listened to that interview today and I, I, I thought he did a great job. He mumbled his way through some of the awkward moments, and that's all a part of it. When, when, we, when we first considered go, going on, Kyle and, and Jackie O, we undenied about it for a good six months, fearing six that months. he was going to get some some random question that could uh, could actually hurt him. But quite the opposite, we went on and uh, and Kyle loved him. Um, so it, it was a uh, yeah, the fear of the unknown. I think um, often prevents uh, prevents you from from doing more FM. Yeah, no, it's so funny. The Prime Minister who holds, or Scott Morrison, held daily press conferences with the entire press gallery, but six months to decide whether to go on with Kyle and Jackie O.